Hello, we just released a new version of Shock 3D, version 9.1.1.8 and in this video I'm going to show you some of the new features. Um, maybe I should start um, showing some changes we did in the license registration system. So, to register your license, um, you go to the menu License, then License Manager and you can log in just like you logged in on our website with, you, with your email and the uh, password you set and then if you're connected to the internet you will see the, all the license you purchased and you can see if a license is already registered on this computer then the state is registered and other licenses, um, for example this one, you see this is a license for three computers and all the three uh, seats are already used on another computer. And this one has one seat and it's available so you just have to click on register and OK to activate the license on this computer. And in the case where the um, license is already used all the seats are already used on other computers but you want to use it uh, still maybe because one computer um, <coughs> is broken you can still click on register on a license that is fully used and <coughs> it will ask you if you want to unregister one of the uh, registered computer and if you press yes you will see the list and you see this license is used on these three computers and you click on unregister to remove the license from this other computer and that's all and now maybe um, if you have several people using the same license but and some of them they don't have uh, the login and password to um, activate the license you can go to License Manager and press Register a License without login. And then you just need to input the um, registered email and the license re reference you received by email, uh, which should be something like this. And press Register. And this still needs uh, to be connected to the Internet. If ever you're not connected to the internet, then you press register offline and then you need to send me this fingerprint by email. It's a eight digit fingerprint and I will uh, send you back the corresponding key to unlock the license on your computer. Now let me show you some of the new design features. Uh, one of the new features is the possibility to add or remove uh, some sickness all over a board. For example, in this uh, windsurf uh, wave board, <laughs> if I want to remove, for example, made let's go to centimeters and action add remove sickness. And if I want to remove like three millimeters that um, should correspond to a sandwich uh, sickness, for example. I put here minus 0.3 and OK. And I see it creates a new model uh, that is shorter and thinner. And maybe we can load uh, the original board as a ghost to compare. So it's this one, open, don't resize and you can load it, we can move it a little downward I press Control L to lock the ghost and then I can compare the slices all over the board and you see it works pretty well that's the ghost that's the new senior board. So not that um, this function works well on simple design, but uh, it does not work well when there are uh, 3D layers. 
so in this case you can do as you had to do before which was um, using a constant depth 3d layers um, maybe i can show you quickly you do new 3d layer constant depths uh, depths of three millimeters and you create one that is uh, same length as the board so you can put it up longer and it will be all over and I put the inner outline on the center the outer outline larger than the board and then when you scroll you see that you have this thickness removed all over and then you can duplicate this for the bottom okay and then you have the thickness removed all over the board and it gives uh, pretty much the same result as the previous function now another simple function we added uh, that can be useful for example when you design um, foils and um, and sometimes um, some people i know design the foil upside down and um, and and change that for production so now you just have to go to action uh, reverse top bottom and then it flips <coughs> the design um, so it's uh, simple and useful sometimes and also we have also improved the mold function so if you go to action again um, bottom mold or deck mold or mold flat bottom now it creates it creates a mold that is um, longer than the original design and with closed tips uh, so you have a, a full mold and you can do the same for the deck So um, it's better than it was before. For the fourth design again, um, we have improved the um, NACA generator. So if you go to slices, NACA profile generator, now you can define the thickness, cumber, um, uh, position of the max as a percentage of the chord or with absolute values and you can also define the thickness of the trailing edge as a percentage or as a fixed value like one millimeter here for example if you press ok it um, creates the NACA profile uh, using guidelines with the trailing edge of a fixed thickness and also um, not that you can use this NACA generator um, window to import any profile from a, a DAT file, uh, even if it's not a NACA profile, and then apply the uh, trailing edge and tilt to uh, this uh, imported profile. To help um, in designing this uh, kind of foil, we also added information in the tracing. So now you see you have the position. If you're doing the tracing like this in the outline view and you have the um, bottom and top stringer curves, you have the, the position at any X, like the Y position at any X position and also the percentage uh, relatively to the overall uh, width and you have the same in the side view for any displayed curve um, and also uh, if you're using display uh, curvature always for example or if you are uh, just displaying the curvature for a special curve now in the tracing you have the value of the uh, curvature radius that is displayed at any position for the uh, for the slices or uh, for the curves here 
and in the displayed um, interesting values on the corner of the screen when you're using the option um, display ID numbers then now you have the average width which is the average chord um, aspect ratio prismatic coefficient uh, and in the slices same you have the um, surface plus uh, aspect ratio and prismatic coefficient at any position of the of the foil uh, now in the export option here in the export window we uh, improve the um, uh, NURBS surfaces address export um, we it's now a little cleaner when for complicated shapes and also uh, we close the tip completely with one only surface now so if I look at the result in Rhino now you have uh, only one surface on the left one on the right and with closed tips in the hollow uh, wood plan we also uh, add uh, several options so first we added the tool diameters which allows exporting the uh, shapes with um, deduction of the tool radius also um, we added the possibility to uh, design rectangular holes in the bridge and, uh, and stringers or triangular holes uh, maybe let me show you in a new file export hollow wood and so let's start with rectangular holes and we can define the corner radius of the holes so you see you have holes with uh, round corners and if you do it with triangular um, holes it gives you something like this and you see um, if you zoom in you'll see that you have a small um, notch at the corner of the of the tabs uh, to have clean uh, corner cuts so and also we have new options for the rail you have plain rail, bead and co, four stripes or uh, regular maybe you can directly check in the tutorial where it is explained with um, with sketches like regular, plain, bead and co and four stripes and you have the drawing with the four stripes so now let's finish um, with uh, new options in the CNC mode so if I go to CNC mode um, now you have the possibility to do stringer roughing with uh, smaller steps um, at the end and set uh, for example you do deck stringer roughing with steps of uh, two millimeters but you want to do the last steps very small not to burn the wood so you do uh, 0.5 millimeters and you can do like three passes at 0.5 millimeters and you see you have all your roughing passes so this is a square block so it makes a lot and with three um, smaller steps at the end and also you have now the possibility if you cut the plugs uh, maybe let's do it with another machine file okay and and you should cut the plugs now you can change the order of the cut of the plugs moving the order up for example um, you can move this uh, the footstrap 
bugs up or down to change the order. So that's all for this uh, new update. Uh, maybe for those who would like to try, we also have a beta version of a Chef 3D Cloud, which will allow you to save your files on several computers at the same time and on uh, our cloud and be able to uh, check your cloud on the internet with a 3D view. Uh, so it gives you a backup, also the possibility to show your files uh, on an iPad, on a cell phone, and um, many functions that will come and will be added over the time. Thank you for watching.